Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really, re okay, really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so I'm so excited because last month, uh, September, I could not do an uh, August. What am I saying? What am I saying? I'm so excited because in September, Babe chose my TBR and I was not able to pick anything from the TBR jar. But today we're picking from the TBR jar for October, okay? I'm excited because it's been a while I picked from this thing. So at this point, hmm, mm, I, at this point, I don't know because I, I now have colors in it. I have green, I have pink, I have uh, yellow, then I have white. I did all these for some reason i can't remember i think the yellow as all the books i got like last year that i've not read then the pink ones i think ah the pink ones are the new books that i just got okay okay and then the green ones are series that i am in or a series that i would like to read like just to let me know that this is a series guys i'm already in between like i think three series is there a word like series <laughs> No, there's no way like seriously. I finished the Twisted series. Oh my god! I finished the Twisted series, then I'm reading Shatter Me. And I already started the Cruel Prince. So, I have a lot of series I'm reading in between right now. Just those two. So yeah, I don't think I want to actually get into another series. So let's just, let's just pick, okay? Let's pick. Uh, the white one. Okay. A book with an element in the title. Element like water, fire, Oh my god, that's why I want to get into water, fire, earth, hair. That took me a while, but I got some books that have some elements. I have The Skin of the Sea. It's a series, and I don't know. Guys, I realized I said. <laughs> I realized I said title, but I was looking for covers with elements on the title. Oh my god, what am I? I'm even saying rubbish right now. Can you imagine? I'm even saying rubbish right now. So, and also in some parts of the video, you will see me itch like itch. It's because these braids are really itchy. Okay, so please, please ignore it. Thank you. This one also, where the crowd art sings. This has water. This has water. Hmm. Things we do not tell the people we love this as fire i think because <laughs> i can see a candle here you see fire then this has water to the niger wife tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabriel zevin this has water a thousand boy kisses also has water the girl who fell beneath the sea also has water i don't know which one to pick i think i will actually go with a thousand boy kisses because I had it's a sad book and I think I am in the mood to read a sad book. So let's pick this one. I'm going to be picking like 10 because I want to have different options. The shortest book you have. Oh my god, the shortest book I have. Damn. 180 pages. 300. 235. 200. Wow, I'm surprised. Mm, there are no pages. Well, from there, I can only find that this one has 180 pages. And so far, among the ones I've checked, this is the smallest one. That is so far. Okay, let's see. A romance book. Oh my god, I think I already picked. A Thousand Boy Kisses is romance. But hmm, another romance book. Romance. I love romance. <laughs> Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Italia Tabert. I've not read any book by this author, so I think it would be nice to actually get into it. Yes, and it's a clean romance. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm going to be picking a pink one now. Pink. This is pink. Black Cake by Charmaine. So this is Black Cake. I was hoping to pick one spooky book at least, you know, like a... Uh, Halloween. I have spooky books I want to read. I have thrillers I want to read. Uh, let's try another white one. With a cover in the title. What is a cover in the title? I don't understand. What did I write? 
I don't know what I wrote, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to forgo that one. Let's take another one. Okay. Mm, maybe I take this one. Something chill out. A book with a number in the title. Number. Oh, oh my god, I, I dropped the back. <laughs> okay, this is. Oh my god, okay, I'm excited because I want to read Six of Crows. Six of Crows by Liba Dugo. This is the book one to a series, and people have been saying this is one of their favorites. So I want to actually get into this. So, like, I'm excited. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's five books. I'll pick one yellow prompt. Let's pick yellow prompt. Oh, Taduno's song. I've read it. So I'm gonna remove that. Another yellow. Bad girl reputation. Mm, I'm not going to actually read this because I need to read the, good, the book one first, the good girl complex first, before going into bad girl reputation. So I'm going to actually keep this prompt aside and pick another one. Yellow, please. Don't stress me. Oh my god, the messless ones. Jesus. I honestly don't know if I want to get into that book. <sighs> It's so fierce. The book looks intense. I have the messes ones and I have the gilded ones, but I don't know which one of them is the book one. So I'm going to actually check. I actually checked and the messes one is the book two. The gilded ones is the book one. So I I don't know. I'm going to hold on on that because I don't want to actually get into any, any of that yet. <sighs> Let me see if I can actually find something else. Was it yellow? It was yellow I picked. Okay. Let's pick here. Written on your skin. I honestly don't even remember this book. What book is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah. So this is it. Uh, Written on your skin by Meredith Duran. It's one of these pocket-sized books that I have been avoiding. But I'll just add it to the pile. I'm going to pick one more pink. Pink. Redeem, Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. Oh my god. Why am I picking books that I love? I want to pick I want to pick fantasy or I want to pick oh This is Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. I've read this book before when I was in school secondary school but i wanted to actually read it again because obviously i don't really remember the story let's pick a white one this time around so i can actually bend it to pick a thriller because <laughs> that would be nice a book you bought recently thank you thank you thank you <laughs> mm. i bought six of crows recently so no the family upstairs by lisa jules because uh it's a thriller mystery thriller i think and i also want to actually get into thriller this October, so yes. Another white one. Yeah. A book set in a different continent. <laughs> in a different continent. Oh my god. I know any other continent that is not Africa is another continent. And I think I want to read this book. So I'm going to pick the XX <laughs> by Erin Sterling because I want to get into it. I can actually pick all these books forever. A book with a color in the title. So I have red, white, and royal blue. About two guys, the prince and the president's son. And then get a life Chloe Brown. Honestly, I've been wanting to get to get a life Chloe Brown for a very long time. And for Casey McQuinston, I didn't really enjoy One Last Stop that much. Like it was nice, it was a nice story, but I didn't really enjoy it that much. Like crazy. So I wanted to give her another try. That's why I picked. That's why I bought this and it's already a movie and I'm not really a movie person. I'm a animation. I'm an animation kind of person. I watch animations. I watch, you know, yeah. So, any mini mini mo. Fanas toki toki dice for that that. Any mini mini mo. That was actually really cheated. I cheated, but I would like to get into this one. Get a life Chloe Brown. So, yes, let's go through everything I go together. I need to clear out my book cart. So the books I chose are The XX by Erin Sterling, 
Things We Do Not Tell The People We Love by Uma Qureshi. A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Herbert. Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute also by Talia Herbert. The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jones. Written on Your Skin by Meredith Duran. Six of Crows by Lee Badugo. Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. These are all the books I hope to get to. I might actually switch some of because I'm a mood reader. I ain't gonna lie. And also, you know, I also want to get into Ignite Me by Tahira Mafi so I can actually continue the series. I want to get into The Wicked King. Is it The Wicked King or The Wicked Queen? Yeah, so those are other books that I might actually branch into. And I'll also be doing a body read with my friend Kenny. So I might actually read another book also. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me which one I should get into ASAP, ASAP, ASAP because I am interested. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!